When a Florida child is adopted out of foster care, they come with health care coverage courtesy of the state. But no one told a Pinellas County mom who has a five year old with special needs that there would be some exceptions to that rule. Taking action reporter Jackie Calloway finds out why she got hit with a $900 ambulance bill. At first sight, Joshua appears to be a typical five-year-old. Basically just can't control his aggression. Lori adopted Joshua out of foster care when he was just three months old. Born to a drug-addicted mother, Joshua started throwing fits of rage as a toddler. Usually he hits. He likes to sit down so he can kick his feet. The violent outburst became impossible for this single mother to control in spite of therapy and medication. He was destroying the principal's office, biting, kicking, screaming. In July, Lori took her son to Meese Countryside for an assessment. The hospital quickly Baker acted the kindergartner and transported him by ambulance to a mental health facility in Lutz. Totaling $978.57. The transport bill came as a shock. I was told that Medicaid would cover any at all costs associated with uh, hospitalization. I did some checking and found that Medicaid's own rules will not cover an ambulance ride under Medicaid services, but they are covered when it's in the best interest of the patient's physical and mental health. The amount of services that are not covered by Medicaid and what I end up paying out of pocket is insane. I contacted state-run Children's Medical Services and asked that they review Lori's case. I Days later, CMS informed Lori the bill would be paid. Relieved. <laughs> I was very relieved. Now this mom can go back to the full-time job of caring for her son and seeking out the best treatment. I'm Jackie Calloway taking action for you.